In this video on data definition language, we will learn about data definition language commands. Using data definition language we can create database objects like tables, views, sequences, indexes. You can alter as well as drop database objects. For more video subscribe learning every day. Let's us have an idea of create table command. To create a table in SQL, we have to supply create table command. The general syntax is on screen. We have to supply a name of the table. We have to supply names of the columns along with column specifications like data type, field width and constraints if any. Let's have an example, in this case we have student as name of the table. Role number, name and fees are the three columns of the table student. The data types of all the columns are as shown on the screen. By this you can create any table in SQL. Sometimes we feel need of changing structure of a table. For this we can use alter table command. Alter table command is useful changing structure of a table. You can add new columns to a table. You can change specifications of existing columns also. Let us have an idea of how to add new columns to a table. To add new columns to a table in SQL you have to use add option of alter table command. By using add option along with alter table command you can add new columns to a table. To add new column to an existing table, the general syntax is on screen. Suppose we feel need of zip code after creating a table employee. You can add a new column zip code using add option of the alter table command. The code for addition of new column is on the screen. By this way a new column zip code will be added to employee table. Let us have idea of modifying existing columns. Sometimes at the time of creating table, we reserve space for a column, and while entering records in that table, the space reserved for that column is not sufficient, in that case you can modify the width of that column using modify option of alter table command. The general syntax for alter table command with modify option is as on the screen. Here in the syntax you have to provide name of the table and name of the column along with new specifications. You can change the data types of columns as well as you can change width of the columns. Always try to use this option in case of table having no records. Otherwise data can be lost or truncated. Let us have a look on an example of alter table command. In this example code, you can see name of the table is employee. Here we will are going to change the width of echoed column. After successful execution of this code you will see, the width of the column echo of employee table will be 6. You can use these table commands to get a list of columns in a table or view, along with its data types. For this table command is most often used to view the definition of a table or view. Enter the command disk table followed by the name of the table or view. DESC table command gives you a list of columns in the table or view, along with its resulting data types, lengths. In this example code employee table will be described, you will see name of columns, data types of the columns along with width of the columns and also nullability. In the example on the screen, name of the table is student, when you supply this command, you will see the structure of the table student as output. By this you can describe any table of SQL. Describe table command is just to see the skeleton the table. Records will not be visible in the output of the disk table command. Now you are aware with the main data definition language commands, we had discussed create table, alter table and disk table commands of SQL. If you find this video informative, please subscribe our channel learning every day. Your valuable feedback will encourage us to develop more videos for you like this. Let's us have idea of data manipulation language. In data manipulation language commands we will study about insert, delete and update commands of SQL. The general syntax of insert is as on screen. We had taken example of employee table. Delete command is useful for deleting rows from a table. The general syntax for delete table is as on screen. If you supply delete employee command the records of employee table will be deleted. For deletion of particular records you have to use where condition and delete table command. We will see all these data manipulation commands in our next video. So keep watching learning every day. 
Thanks for watching this video. Remember subscribe.